So, Gavin has dragged me out of bed at an unearthly hour, six o'clock I think it was this morning, because we're going to go wrecking today, and our target fish is going to be cod and pollock, and then hopefully, if we catch any, I'm going to help Gavin cook it this afternoon. So have you any idea what we're going to cook? Or we're just going to take it by here and see what we actually catch? See what we catch, and, uh, and then make it up as we go along after that. Okay, well that's good. So it's a beautiful day, a little bit cloudy, but I know the sun's going to come out. And more importantly, it's flat cam, so conditions will be good. I know Gavin's not feeling too well. He claims it's stomach bug, but I think it's more like a little bit too many beers last night. Anyway, I've got all the gear. And no idea. I was going to say all the gear and catch all the fish, but do you want to borrow one of these rods? Yeah, we will. Alright, well let's go then. Okay. Time and time to wait for no man. But look at this one. Okay. So the setup for wrecking is pretty simple. I've got a 20 to 40 pound Maximus solid carbon rod, and my fin or my case a MA20 reel. And I loaded the reel with 40 pound braid and a shock leader of 50 pound. I've got a boom, a ball weight, which will hopefully help me stop catching the wreck, and a lure. I'm just using this little white lure at the moment. And basically, all the skill is involved with the skipper getting us to the, getting to the wreck, setting the drift up, and then all we do is drop the lead, the 190 or 200 foot to the bottom, and then just try and avoid catching the wreck and hopefully catch some fish. So it's a long way down. Just hits there, lift the rod up, and then just start winding. So normally you wind up about 15 or 20 turns and if we don't get a fish in that time just drop it back down and keep trying until you get a fish sometimes it takes different colors lures different speeds to retrieve but it really is as simple as that and then when you do get a fish just keep winding it'll hook itself <laughs> I think it is. Gavin. 
Any weight to it, Gavin? Yeah, a little bit. There's a couple of nice ones coming up now. It's a cod. So we've got a cod and a pollock on that drift. Okay. Okay. Well, that's going to make a nice dinner. So we'll, uh, you're going to get on and catch yours now. Yeah, I stopped messing around now. Up you go. Nice fish. So we've hit slack water now, there's not a lot going to happen, probably for about another 15-20 minutes till the tide picks up, but it's uh, going to be a good chance to just talk through the rig and look at the couple of lures we're using. So this is just a standard boom, 8-10 inches long, and I've got an 8 ounce ball weight on there, I use a ball weight because it sort of hopefully will bounce over the wreckage rather than stick in it, and then I've got an absolutely huge, about 12 foot of trace here. So, huge amount of line, and then I've got my lures. Now, um, this one's an Eddie Stone Eel, it's a 2012. Uh, and that was one of the ones that Gavin had a huge pollock on earlier. Uh, so, I'm going to give that a try, but uh, there are many, many other lures, and we'll take a look at some of those lures. The huge choice of lures, everything from small to large. On any typical wrecking day, I might go through all of these lures, changing size, changing colour, everything, because you never know what the fish are on. Today it's been this tiny little uh, sidewinder lure, white with a little bit of holographic internals, uh, and that's that's been doing the doing the business. It really has been effective, uh, but sometimes I go this big flatten lure, huge thing. And it's great for catching a big pollock and your big cod. I'll give it a go later, see if we can catch anything on that. But uh, we've got several other ones, a little mackerel imitation. It's a lovely little rib tail, works really, really well. and you've got a skipper like Luke, he'll fill it your pollock and your cod for you. And if you're unlucky or you buy it as a whole fish, have a look at our video on how to fillet a cod or a pollock. You'll see the link at the end of the video.